Hi, I'm John McClay, and today we're going to be doing a dish that we're showcasing later on this month at our Colonial Burma dinner. Now, the dish we're doing today, it's a Rakhine fisherman's stew. Now, Rakhine is a state that's on the west coast of Myanmar. It's known for its seafood, known for its chilli kick in its food. The dishes that come from Rakhine have definitely got more of what you'd call maybe a Thai influence. What we're going to do is we're going to start off by putting oil into our pan here. All right, we'll throw in some of our onions. And we just want to move them around and not really color them, just soften them slightly. All right, in goes our fish that's been marinating, all our seafood in fact, been marinating in some turmeric powder for about 30 minutes. Gives it a lovely color. And once again, turmeric is really a significant Burmese ingredient. All right, we're using these lovely king prawns today, so in they go, into our pot. In with our calamari or squid. Right, next up we've got some shrimp paste. Uh, extreme Burmese flavour, it really signifies. So I think Burmese would use more shrimp paste than, than anywhere else in, in Southeast Asia, that's for sure. Right, in with some garlic. Everybody loves garlic, right? Okay. Bamboo shoots, which will give it a distinctive Asian flavour. Some chilli, as I said earlier, it's uh, rakhine food is uh, more, it's a lot more spicy than most other uh, Burmese states would cook. In with our mussels. Some tamarind pulp, which gives it a really nice tartness, balances it out beautifully. Some fish stock obviously forms the base of our broth, and our stew, sorry, I should say. Some fish sauce. Just a little. We can always add more later. We can't take it out. Some sawtooth coriander. Now, sawtooth coriander is this. It's also known as flat leaf coriander. Uh, I, some people think it's got a more harsh flavour than coriander, but I don't. I think it's, it's not as harsh. In with some of that. Tomato, we just want that to soften. Now in this stew, generally tomato isn't used, but I like to use it because of the colour and it also gives the sauce, uh, I guess a bit of volume, a bit of guts. One ingredient that I like to add is a little bit of sugar. Um, Australians tend to like that flavour of a little bit of sugar in their food. We don't want too much, not like you would use in Thai or Vietnamese. Simmering away beautifully here, so what we're going to do is just pop a lid on it and let nature's take its course for about maybe five minutes. We'll check it after about two to three minutes. All right, this has been simmering away for about four minutes. We'll take a look at it. Oh, look, that looks perfect to me right now. Lovely, like nice and runny. It's more of a soup, I guess, than a stew, but that's just the way this dish is. All right, we're gonna get our serving bowl and a serving spoon make some room so you can see what I'm doing. We're just going to spoon this out into our serving bowl. Look at the lovely colours oh, and it smells amazing as well. Now it's a stew so you don't have to be too particular how you plate it up and obviously you want to get as much in that bowl of these beautiful flavours as possible. Over the top a little more of this great sawtooth coriander, some extra chilli, And there you have it. Such a fantastic seafood stew that you can get at Burma Lane later on this month for our colonial Burma dinner.